um, performance test of a uh, hydraulic turbine lecture for mechanical engineering laboratory to so hydraulic turbine as shown in the figure ito yung mga shop niya this is uh, isang in a type ng hydraulic turbine meron tayong generator sa taas yung mga Francis turbine Kaplan yan ito yung mga parts niya so runner ito yung drop tube and ito yung spiral casing Mayroon pang ibang type. So, hydraulic equation. Ito tayo sa performance. The horsepower developed by a hydraulic turbine may be calculated by deriving an equation based on the definition of horsepower. So, 33,000 foot-pounds per minute or 550 pounds per second. So, P is equal to Q, H, and rho E over 550. Well, P is the output. Turbine output, those power, Q is the water flow, cubic per second, H net is the net effective head, rho is the water density, pounds per cubic foot, repeat lang to, E is the turbine hydraulic efficiency. Taking the water density as 62.4 pounds per cubic foot, P is equal to Q, H and E over 8.82. The term net effective head is worthy of further mention. It is defined as the difference in the total head for the water entering the turbine casing and the total head leaving the drop tube. For the moment, it will be sufficient to indicate that the drop tube is a conduit at the outlet of the turbine that conducts the water away from the turbine. Note that the total head, note that the total head and not static head was used. So net effective head as defined by may be determined by deducting losses in the anti canal or anti conduit from the difference in elevation between the storage reservoir and the tail race. The tail race is the canal that is used to carry the water away from the plant. For turbine, a specific speed may be defined as the speed of a hypothetical model turbine having the same configuration as the actual turbine, when the model would be a proper size to develop one power at one at a head of one foot. Note that the definition of a specific speed for a turbine is in terms of both power and head, whereas for a pump, it is in terms of flow and head. And the specific speed NS is equal to NP is 0.1 up over S 0.54. And the specific speed for a hydraulic turbine is usually taken either or fully open inlet gates and at design head or at the point of maximum efficiency. This is uh, uh, English units and uh, dimensional. So actually, ang unit nito ay di naman RPM. So, symbol lang yung RPM na specific speed siya. So, check your flow with machinery. Since the actual head on the turbine may fluctuate with river flow, the sign head is usually selected as the weighted average net head when weighted on the basis of kilowatt hours generated. Uh, types of hydraulic turbine. So, generally, hydraulic turbines are divided into three basic types. Each type is suitable for a particular range of net head. So, as in figure 1, the young impulse type of hydraulic turbine with jet deflectors. So, malamo lang. Okay, sa power plant, truly in design by Potter. So, impulse turbine, known, sometimes known as Pilton wheels, in honor of the inverter lens Lester A. Pilton of California, may be used for heads above 200 feet but are mostly commonly applied to heads above 700 feet. However, the range of 200 to 700 feet is used only for a small unit so as to produce suitable generator speed. Heads of 5,000 feet have been used in European installation. Impulse turbine efficiency vary from about 82 to 90 percent. Next, an a view of impulse turbine with part of casing removed is shown in figure 5. So, malabo. so this is a horizontal shaft overhang. The generator, exciter, and belt ribbon governor are also shown. Impulse turbine may have vertical shaft, although horizontal shaft is probably common. Large units have been designed with two runners, double overhang, on one on each side of the generator. It is possible to use multiple jets on a single runner. So, check nyo yung fluid machinery. Like a power plant, engineering. Reaction turbine called Francis type after James B. Francis, the American who developed this type of runner are medium head units. So, ito yung second type. Reaction turbine, Francis type. They are usually employed for heads of 70 to 900 feet and at times up to 1,100 feet. 
the appearance of heads overlaps the values for impulse runner. Kamiyan tayo yung selection curve. Ito. Ito yung mga overlap impulse and process. Ito yung overlap niya. So, suitable combination of speed, horsepower, and head for values runner is unrelated by the concept of specific speed. So, figure 2 shows typical values of specific speed for three types of runners operating at C level. So, these values are determined from experiences and laboratory model tests. It can be seen from this curve that Francis will for low horsepower and high speed would produce a very high generator speed making an impulse runner more adaptable in this range. Yan, at high head. Pag alam ko yung head, so yung impulse. Yung mga matataas ng power plant, na plant. So, plant system bin may have either horizontal or vertical shaft. So, C, figure 3. So, the latter is more common today, particularly on large sizes, as shown on figure 3. Okay, so yung figure lang tayo. Yung mga parts, so sa ibang case na yun. Efficiencies at design point range from 90 to 94%. This illustration will be used to demonstrate several important terms. Water is conducted from the reservoir to the turbine by means of penstock. Dito, penstock. Or head race. When the powerhouse is some distance from the dam, still penstock may be used. So, parang piping. Constructional feature in economics will determine whether a concrete pin stock form as a part of the dam or a steel pin stock is more suitable when the power house is located at the base of the dam. A butterfly type of shot of bulb is shown at the entrance of the turbine casing. Ah, ito yung generator, ito yung turbine. So, ito yung pin stock, papasok to tapos ikot siya. Okay. So, the propeller type of turbine wheel has a strong resemblance to a propeller pump motor. So, figure 4. This is a propeller type. These are two. There are two styles of these units, the fixed blade and adjustable blade. The latter are called captain turbines after the man who perfected the design. Sita. Note the, the scroll case shown in figure 4 is form of concrete and is not circular. In cross section, efficiencies at the same point tends up to 93%. So, yan ang kaplan turbine. So, turbine speed. Ito po rin ba? Ah. Okay. Turbine speed. So, nearly all modern hydro units are directly connected to electrical generators that provide 25 or 60 cycle current. So, 40 cycle frequency is used in some paper mills and 50 cycle frequency is employed in some foreign countries. Uh, 1060. So, ibig sabihin niyan, yung ano speed ng generator mo, yun yun ang speed ng, ano mo, ng turbine. Yung cycle or hertz. 50 hertz yan. At is cycles per second. Okay? Nominal call lang yan. 40 cycle, 50 cycle, di ba? Parang plans. Uh, 100 pounds, that is 100 PSI. Okay? 125 pounds, that is 125 PSI na plants. Yung mga plants yun. So, this generator must have an even number of pools. For the speed used for units of even a few hundred horsepower, it is preferable that the number of pools be divisible by 4 for greater flexibility in generator design. Turbine speed are therefore limited by the following equation. So, N is 120F over P where N is the turbine generator speed, RPM. F is the electrical frequency cycle per second. So, that is the this is the frequency or the speed in per second and cycles per second. P is equal to number of generator pools. So example number So, at least 30,000 horsepower turbine is to be installed for 50 feet head. Select typical speed for a Kaplan or Francis wheel for 60 cycle head. 
Salo, salo, simple example din sa Emil. Speed pitch, 30,000 horsepower, S is 50 feet, F is 60 cycle, required typical speed for Kaplan or Francis wheel. Solution, from figure 2, NS is approximate 111 for Kaplan wheel and NS is 94 Francis wheel. So, check natin yung figure 2 at 50 feet. Head. Yan. 50 feet head, this is 1111. Yan, kung dito. Ayan, sa Francis is uh, 90 dito. Spe specific speed. It English units yan. Uh. Eh? So, yan. So, for Kaplan Turbine, N is equal to NS. It's of N. 0.5 over 4 over P is 0.1 up is 111 times 50 is 0.5 over 4 over 30,000 is 0.1 up is 85.2 RPM. So, de determine the nearest gener generator speed. The number of pulls is divided by 4. So, assume 84 pulls. So, one, uh, this is 120 times 60 over 84 is 85.8 or 90 pulls for 80 RPM. Mas malapit siya sa... Okay, this is 84 pulls. So, the answer is 85.8. So, malapit siya doon. Ibang approach to, di ba? Yung isang approach, solve for P. Ito nang solve for N. Assume na 84. So, parang balik-balik sa mo lang. So, lalabas is 85.8. So, yun ang malapit. Or, this is 90. For, for 90 pulls, next size na is 90 is not divisible by 4. So, for 90 pulls, or well, at the RPM. So, hindi yan. Okay. So, for Francis wheel, N is equal to NS, it's N, 5 over 4, or 5, 1, 1 up. So, NS is 90, 90 times 50 is 0.5 over 4, over 30,000 is 1 up, is 69 RPM. But, okay, 92. Okay, basta, um, divisible by 4, ah. So, maybe, ano to, mali lang siya sa book. It will mean the next generator speed, the number of posts is visible by 4. Assume 1 of 4, so 1 of 4, N is equal to 120 times 60 over 1 of 4 is 69.3. So, or, so, malapit doon, or 72 poles for 100 RPM. So, for 80 RPM, so itong, so 80 RPM, that is 90 poles, makukompute mo. So, at 100 RPM, 72 poles, makukompute mo. But the right answer is ito. Okay, 85.8 and 69.2. So, this is 104 poles and 84 poles. So, the, so ito okay to. 72 divisible by 4 to 90. Dito divisible by 4. Okay, basta divisible by 3 tayo. Therefore, either a Kaplan of 85.8 or 90 RPM or a Francis unit of 69.3 RPM could be used. A possible lang naman yung divisible by 4. Pero sa calculation natin, sa din natin yung divisible by 4. However, 90 RPM would be more economical as a generator speed. In addition, the flat efficiency curve of Kaplan unit might be more satisfactory if part load efficiency is important. Since Kaplan turbine have higher the normal thrust and run away speed, this must be investigated before selection can be made. Next, cavitation. Okay, the phenomenon of cavitation was defined as the implosion of vapor bubbles in a liquid. These bubbles are formed by the plashing of some of the liquid into vapor caused by a reduction of the liquid pressure below the vapor pressure. So when the liquid pressure is then increase above vapor pressure, the bubbles implode with a release of large amounts of energy. Some small amounts of this energy is dissipated as sound. The remaining energy causes vibration of the equipment and also tears away part of the surface of the boundary metal. So when competition occurs in pumps and turbine, the metal becomes pitted or honeycomb. The efficiency and maximum power of a unit may be badly impaired by severe competition. Habitation is most likely to occur on the outer edge of the back of branches and propeller runner blades and on the band of branches runner. Because propeller runners operate at high sp specific speed, they must be set lower to avoid gravitation. 
Habitation on the runner can be controlled by the elevation of the runner above or below tail water level. Other points at which habitation can occur are on drop tube wall, at sharp corners or restriction, and on the needle and deflector of impulse turbine. Impulse runner may encounter habitation on the back edge of the bucket tip. Bucket tip in yung blade niya. So test of model runner are the most Test of border runners are the most reliable means. May bisita lang. Um, predicting habitation. From this test, the proper elevation of the bottom of branches wheel or the center line of a propeller wheel can be determined. Elevation of the bottom of branches wheel. Yung propeller naman is yung center line. And shop. This elevation is one of the most important dimensions that must be determined from the plant and involve the use of sigma function. Okay. However, preliminary calculation may be made by establishing the minimum permissible pressure at the wheel as being equal to the vapor pressure SBAP. Some manufacturers use an arbitrary value of 0.6 feet for SBAP. This will be equal to barometric pressure SB less than the pressure due to elevation of the wheel above the tail water level HC less the velocity head at the wheel outlet. All express and Feet of water. So, or SBAP is equal to SB minus HE minus SV. So, SBAP may be 10.6 or solve it. So, the velocity head at the runner outlet is proportional to the square of the velocity at this point. In turn, the velocity is proportional to the proportional to the square of flow. But the square of the flow is proportional to the net head, HN. Therefore, the velocity head is proportional to the net head. Then taking sigma as the constant of proportionality, SBAP is equal to sigma times HN. Combining the equation above, sigma is equal to SB minus HC minus SBAP over HN and HE is equal to SB minus SBAP minus sigma HN. So, if the runner is above the tail water level, HC is positive. If the runner is below the tail water level, HC is negative. Values of vapor pressure may be obtained from steam table and converted into feet of water pump for the summer water temperature. Barometric pressure is that existing at the plant elevation and not the barometric pressure collected to sea level. For most purposes, it is satisfactory to assume the barometric pressure as 34 feet of water less 1.13 feet for each 1,000 feet increase in elevation above sea level. The constant of proportionality sigma is called the gravitation factor and is assumed to be constant for all head on a given runner and for all proportionally similar as homologous runner. Actually, sigma varies with gate in blade angle. The minimum sigma necessary to prevent gravitation is the critical sigma. The operating sigma is the value at which the turbine actually operates and should not exceed critical sigma by an ample margin to prevent cavitation due to unforeseeable variation in equipment manufacture and in operating conditions. Okay, approximate values of sigma suitable for the solution of problem may be obtained from the following equation. So for propeller turbines, sigma is equal to ns squared over 15,000 minus 0.2. For Francis Torbay, the sigma is equal to NS squared over 15,000. Some metals are more subject to the pitting of pitting effects of gravitation than others. Porous metal material are being more, the most susceptible. Cast iron, which is used for small, low head turbines of all three types, is the most susceptible to gravitation pitting. Some bronze have about one third the rate of pitting of cast iron, while cast iron Cast carbon steel exhibit only one-eighth the rate of pitting of cast iron. Cast stainless steel, 18% chromium, 8% nickel, aluminum bronze has about one-sixteenth the rate of cast iron. Most runner today are made of cast steel and many are protected with welded on layer of stainless steel over the areas more likely to be subjected to pitting due to cavitation. Other runners may be provided with stainless steel inset or the segment welded in place.
So example number two. For 30,000 horsepower, 50 feet head, 90 RPM Kaplan unit, determine the elevation of the propeller center lines for 30,000 feet elevation in 80 Fahrenheit water. So given P is 30,000, HN is 50, and elevation 3,000, temperature 80. Required elevation of propeller center lines, SE. So solution, N is equal to NP is 0.1 up over SN5 over 4, so put your yeah, 90 times 30,000 is 0.1 up over 50, 0.5 over 4 is 117.2. Okay, so sigma is equal to ns is squared over 115,000 minus 0.2. So substitute yung 117.2 magiging 0.717. Then se is equal to sb minus s bap minus sigma sn. So the barometric pressure is equal to 34 feet minus 1.13 over 1,000 times 3,000 is 30.6 feet sb. So at 80 Fahrenheit, Vapor pressure is 0 0.507 PSI and a specific volume of water 0 0.01607 cubic feet per pound. SBAP is equal to B, PB is equal to 0 0.01607 feet cubic feet per pound times 0 0.507 PSI. That's 1.4 square inch per square foot. It's 1.17 feet. So H is equal to 30.6 minus 1.17 minus 0.717 times 50 is negative 6.42 feet. Since this is minus sign, the center line of the line should be set at least 6.4 feet below the minimum tailwater level that can occur when the turbine is developing 30,000 horsepower. Okay. So this is the end of this topic.